Big Blue is off the phone. Uh. Try calling later, please, and thank you. Big Blue is off the phone. God Try damn it, late. just answer your fucking phone! Please. Please, please, please answer your phone. You have uh. a surveillance notification. Master Donatello. Sheldon! Turn volume down to 50%. And I told you to stop calling me Master. Only available name in my coding is Master Donatello. <sighs> I really wish I knew how to mess up your coding the same way those bozos did it. Whatever. Where's the notification coming from? Surveillance shows. Laboratory entrance. If it's Mikey, tell him I'm too busy right now. I'll be out for dinner, I promise. Life form appears to be brother, Leonardo. Leo? Okay. Just knock on the door. If he doesn't want to talk, then we can do it later. <sighs> okay. Here I go. <sighs> Donnie? Ah! Where the hell have you been? Uh, I uh, went to Puesos to decompress. Why didn't you tell anyone? Why weren't you answering your phone? I, I didn't hear it ring. It was on silent. I'm sorry. <sighs> Donnie. <laughs> You're crying. <sighs> what was I supposed to think, Leo? After our argument? After... After you admitted to att attempting to... <sighs> after... <laughs> Donnie. <laughs> Damn it. I hate crying like this. Can I hug you? Huh? Can I hug you? I know you're not a physical person. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, D. I should have seen your calls. I should have told someone I was going out. I, I shouldn't have walked out on you. I was just so scared. I didn't like it when you locked me in your lab. I felt like I was trapped in a box with no way to breathe. I'm sorry. I want to talk with you. N not the kind of talk we did before. Like an actual discussion. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. All right. You can ask me anything you want. I'm ready to tell you the truth. A anything? Yeah. Did you... Did you really throw yourself into the prison dimension to off yourself? <sighs> Oof, starting out strong. Okay, well... Y yes and no. That really was the only option we had. I wasn't lying about that. Even if I tried to run away, I knew he would have caught up to me or find Casey and do something to him. I really didn't want to take that chance. But... When it was all said and done, and I was stuck in there, it set a lot of things in perspective for me. All those negative things that I constantly told myself that I deserved became true. I was in a cold, destroyed wreck with no possible way of escaping, no way to see my friends and family again. I was alone, and... I felt like I deserved it. I deserved wasting away while my family lives on to live a happy life. I didn't deserve a happy ending. I didn't deserve all the things I had before. I... I didn't deserve you guys. Leo. And I know, I know, that's not true, but 
That's how I feel. Not even felt. I still feel this way. I I feel like I don't deserve to be happy. You do deserve to be happy. All of us do. Uh, my next question is... How did you know about me doing that to myself? Oh, um, I just started adding two and two together. The first couple of times I saw you wearing your hoodie around the lair, I thought it was just cold. I remember you talking about maybe adding an air conditioner in your lab, so I just assumed it was that, but when you start adding the bloody napkins, missing knives from the kitchen, the way you would almost pass out at the dinner table, it suddenly became something completely different. I see. Would you mind if I saw them? My scars? No, no, I no, won't no. tell anyone. I just want to see if you've been cleaning them. You could get really sick if you don't. Remember, out of the four of us, I'm the medic. Just... Don't... wince or give me a voice when you see it, okay? Okay. Fuck. Donnie. I told you not to do that. I I'm sorry, it's just... I didn't expect to see this much. I already said I started doing it a couple weeks ago. Yeah, but how frequent? It's not that frequent. I... I just... tend to overdo it sometimes. Tony... Well... They're not dirty, but... they are disinfected. I'll clean them for you after dinner, okay? If you say so. We need to talk about this to the others. What? Not just your situation. Everyone's situation too. Mikey's selfless coping, Raph's seclusion, my bad thoughts, everything. We, we need to talk about everything. But only when we're all ready for it. I guess you're right. We should probably have a team meeting at some point. That might do us some good. Yeah. See, that, that does sound good. I'll talk to Raph about it. Alright. Well, there's not many other questions for you. If I do think of one, I'll just wait for this impending team meeting. Alrighty. Ah. <sighs> we'll see you at dinner, Dom. Yeah, Leo. We'll see you too. Hey, Don. I love you. <laughs> That's so fucking cheesy. Now just say it back, you big brain bozo. That was an oxymoron, you oxymoron. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Leo. <laughs>